Hello and welcome to our weekly look ahead at the markets here at markets.com. And there's only really one thing on the agenda in the coming days, and that is the coronavirus. How much does it spread? What sort of economic damage is it wreaking? And how do policymakers respond? Uh, we saw a horrendous week in the stock markets uh, last week. Uh, we are looking for potentially some stabilization happening, uh, but things remain pretty volatile. Um, look for uh, indicators such as bond yields, are they uh, snapping back up or are yields tumbling? Uh, that is a good indicator of the sort of market stress that might be happening. Also, uh, have a look at the VIX. Uh, if it remains elevated, then we expect volatility to remain elevated and therefore you will see wide movements on uh, global equity indices. So keep your eyes open for these things. Um, we are looking particularly at the Fed meeting coming up. Um, that is when the Federal Reserve has a chance to really uh, do uh, all it can to help support uh, the financial markets. There are concerns, of course, that the worst, the worst the selling gets in the market, and we've seen over the last few days a broad sell-off in all asset classes, um, not just stocks, but we've seen gold being sold heavily, and we saw oil being sold heavily at the start of the week. Gold and cryptos in particular seems to be a sign that, that funds are, are, are desperate for cash, they're selling down their, um, their holdings in gold, raising cash to cover margin calls elsewhere. Um, this is a, a sort of a doom loop situation. It's, it's very, very tricky. Um, we need to see stabilization in bond yields. Um, if bonds are being sold as well, it's an indication that perhaps um, investors are uh, raising cash. If, if that happens alongside equity falling, what you want to see is bond yields is ticking higher uh, and stock markets starting to stabilize and tick higher too, suggesting that maybe investors are uh, drawing down bond positions putting money to work in the stock market again. Um, lots to look forward to, but key thing will be the Fed meeting. Uh, as I say, it's uh, expected to cut interest rates again after having cut uh, by 50 basis points uh, with its emergency cut um, earlier this month. Um, some banks predicting that it will cut 100 basis points. That'd be a, uh, an unprecedented move and it would take in, uh, US interest rates down to zero. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. Keep your eyes open for any kind of announcements that about from the ECB, the Bank of Japan, the People's Bank of China, um, on how they are supporting financial markets. Uh, it's really the only show in town this week is the coronavirus. And that's it for now. Um, we will bring you updates throughout the week on what's going on. And if you have questions, then contact us at xrentmarkets.com and just be prepared that there could be some uh, circuit breakers being triggered in global indices. Um, it can mean a temporary halt to trading. Uh, we can also see potentially some more short selling bans like we had on Friday from Italy and Spain. That can produce, uh, that, can, that can knock out your ability to trade on certain equities um, at the time. So keep your, keep, uh, keep your eyes open and uh, uh, stay vigilant to the risks. Uh, that's it for now. We will be back uh, with you throughout the week on X-Ray.